Have you ever wondered where everything began, where the Earth came from? Our cosmos, as we see it today, is the result of an event that unfolded about 13.8 billion years ago an event we know as the Big Bang. Picture an explosion, but not your average firework display or a dynamite blast. This was an explosion of such unimaginable magnitude that it set in motion the creation of everything we know the universe. From an incredibly hot, dense point, known as a singularity, the universe expanded and cooled, giving birth to the galaxies, stars, and ultimately, our solar system. This explosion wasn't just a release of energy, but a creation of space and time. As the universe expanded, it cooled down, allowing for the formation of atoms. These atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium, began to cluster together under gravity's relentless pull. Over billions of years, these clusters of gas grew denser and hotter, eventually igniting to form stars. Now, imagine countless stars forming, living, and dying, all part of a cosmic dance choreographed by gravity. Some of these stars, in their death throes, exploded as supernovae, releasing heavier elements like iron, carbon, and oxygen into the universe. These elements, essential for the formation of planets and life as we know it, were once cooked in the heart of dying stars. Our sun, a relatively young star, was born around 5 billion years ago, in a cloud of gas and dust enriched by these heavier elements. In the disk of material swirling around this newborn star, minute particles began to stick together, forming the seeds of planets, including our own Earth. And so, our universe was born, setting the stage for the creation of our home, the Earth. The story of our universe is one of creation, destruction, and rebirth, a cycle that has been repeating for billions of years. And it's in this grand cosmic ballet, that our humble blue planet found its place. Now, let's dive into the creation of our own solar system and the birth of Earth. Our journey begins with a vast, swirling cloud of gas and dust in the depths of space. This is a nebula, the birthplace of stars and planets. It's here that the story of our solar system, and the Earth, begins. The idea that the Sun and planets emerged from such a nebula is called the nebular hypothesis, and it's widely accepted by the scientific community. Imagine the nebula, filled with particles of dust and gas, starting to contract under the force of gravity. As it contracts, it begins to spin, and the center of the nebula, where the mass is greatest, starts to heat up. This is the birth of the Sun. The remaining material in the nebula, still spinning and orbiting the new Sun, forms a flat, disk-like structure. This is the protoplanetary disk, a cosmic nursery where planets are born. Now, picture countless particles within this disk, colliding and sticking together. This process, known as accretion, is how Earth began to form. It's a bit like rolling a snowball down a hill it starts small, but as it rolls, it picks up more snow and grows larger. Only in this case, the snowball is Earth, and the snow is the dust and gas in the protoplanetary disk. Over time, these collisions form larger and larger bodies, until we have a planetesimal an early form of a planet. Eventually, around four and a half billion years ago, one of these planetesimals became the Earth we know today. But this was just the beginning. The newborn Earth was a very different place, a hostile world of molten rock and intense heat. It would take billions of years, and many more dramatic events, for it to become the hospitable home we inhabit today. From a cloud of dust and gas, the Earth began to take shape, an event that marked the beginning of a long and fascinating journey. In the early years of Earth, our planet was a very different place, a time we call the Hadean Eon. Imagine a world where the surface is a molten sea, the air is thick with volcanic gases, and the sky is filled with showers of meteorites. This was Earth in its infancy, during the Hadean Eon, which began some four and a half billion years ago. Temperatures on this early Earth were unimaginably high, reaching thousands of degrees. It was a world in the throes of creation, with a surface that was continually reshaping itself. Volcanic activity was rampant, spewing out gases and materials that would eventually form our atmosphere and oceans. The Hadean Eon was not named for its hellish conditions for nothing. It was a time of intense heat and relentless volcanic activity. Yet, amidst this seeming chaos, something incredible was happening. The Earth was starting to cool down, and a thin crust was forming on its surface. 
This crust was not the solid, stable ground we walk on today. Instead, it was a thin, brittle shell floating on the molten sea beneath. It was continually breaking apart and reforming due to the intense heat and pressure from below. But over time, as the earth cooled further, this crust thickened and became more stable. Meanwhile, the early atmosphere, filled with volcanic gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen, began to change. As the earth cooled, the water vapor in the atmosphere condensed and fell as rain. Over thousands of years, this relentless rain filled the depressions in the Earth's crust, creating the first oceans. These oceans, together with the forming crust, started to shape the Earth's landscape, creating the first continents and seas. It was a world taking shape, a world preparing for the next stages of its evolution. And so, despite the hostile conditions of the Hadean Eon, Earth was quietly laying the groundwork for the future. It was during this time of intense heat, volcanic activity, and changing landscape that the stage was set for life to emerge. Our young planet was a hostile environment, yet it was during this time that the groundwork was laid for life as we know it. As the earth cooled and stabilized, the stage was set for the advent of life. Picture a world teetering on the brink of a new age, the Archean Eon. This era, stretching from 4 billion to 2.5 billion years ago, was a time of dramatic transformation. It was during this period that our planet, once a fiery ball of molten rock, finally began to cool down. Volcanic activity subsided, the crust solidified, and liquid water started to accumulate, creating the perfect conditions for life to emerge. Now, let's fast forward a bit to the Proterozoic Eon, from 2.5 billion to approximately 540 million years ago. This eon was marked by the appearance and evolution of the first complex life forms. At the heart of this biological revolution were the humble cyanobacteria, microscopic organisms that forever changed the course of life on Earth. You see, these cyanobacteria were photosynthetic. They could harness the power of the sun, converting water and carbon dioxide into glucose and, crucially, oxygen. Now, oxygen might not seem like a big deal to us oxygen-breathing creatures, but back then, it was a game-changer. The cyanobacteria were so successful that they filled the Earth's oceans with oxygen through a process we now call the Great Oxygenation Event. This oxygen eventually escaped into the atmosphere, turning it from a methane-rich, oxygen-poor environment into one that could support oxygen-breathing life forms. This transformation didn't happen overnight. It took billions of years. But it was this slow, steady oxygenation of our planet that paved the way for the evolution of more complex life forms, from the single-celled organisms of the Archean Eon to the diverse array of creatures we see today. So, when we think about the advent of life on Earth, we must remember those early pioneers, the cyanobacteria. It was their tireless work that created the world as we know it. Over billions of years, simple life forms transformed our planet, setting the stage for more complex life to evolve. Finally, we arrive at the Phanerozoic Eon, the age of visible life. This is where the plot thickens, and the Earth's biography takes a dramatic turn. The Phanerozoic Eon, spanning the last 540 million years, is a time of tremendous biological innovation and diversification. It's a chapter of Earth's history that sees the first multicellular organisms make their debut. These humble beginnings set the stage for an explosion of life with the waters of our planet teeming with a diverse array of creatures. From the smallest plankton to the largest marine reptiles, the oceans become a theater of evolutionary experimentation. Meanwhile, on land, the first plants take root. They transform the rocky terrain into lush landscapes, creating habitats for the first terrestrial animals. The rise of plants also significantly alters the Earth's atmosphere, pumping it full of oxygen and setting the stage for the evolution of air-breathing animals. But the Phanerozoic Eon is not just a tale of life's triumphs. It also bears witness to five major mass extinctions, each one a catastrophic event erasing a significant proportion of all living species. Yet, life proves its resilience each time, bouncing back with renewed vigor and diversity. The final act of the Phanerozoic Eon sees the rise of mammals, a group of warm-blooded vertebrates that includes us, humans. We are but a blip in Earth's history, yet our impact on the planet has been profound. From a hot, barren rock, the Earth has transformed into a vibrant planet teeming with life. 
It's a testament to the incredible power of nature and the resilience of life itself. As we continue to explore our dynamic planet and its incredible history, we are reminded that we are not just observers, but active participants in this ongoing, epic tale.